All right, we should be able to get through this one pretty quick. This one's asking first for a free body diagram. Free body diagram is going to look something like this. First thing I'm adding is the force of gravity because that's always the easiest one to add. Then I'm going to add normal force. Make sure you remember that normal force is always perpendicular to the surface, not always up. Finally, we know that the spider is kind of sitting on this incline, and if friction didn't exist, it would slide down that way, which means friction must be uh, going in this direction to prevent the slide. All right, free body diagram, a done. Uh, now it's asking us to uh, write a Newton's first law equation, or second law equation, and try and solve for, I think it's normal force, yeah, normal force and how it relates to the angle of incline. Uh, so we got to get there, and we're limited to only kind of like ending with m and theta. So uh, I got a pretty good start. Acceleration equals the sum of the force over the mass. Uh, but the problem is I can't really set up a perfect sum of forces equation the way things are set up right now. I don't have force of gravity equal to normal force. It's force of gravity is equal to, you know, part of normal force. So I'm going to do a trick. I'm going to say, what if force of gravity, instead of going at that angle, had a component that was going this way, and it had a component that was going along that way. If it did, then I could say this part of force of gravity equals normal force, this part of uh, force of gravity equals force of friction, and my life would be way easier. And I'm just going to use this angle, because I can kind of eyeball it and say that that angle is equal to that angle. Uh, sounds good. We'll go over in class exactly why those angles are the same, just for those of you guys who don't want to believe me. But if I do it that way, then there's the bell. This is mg cosine theta, and this is mg sine theta. So now I can go to my next step and say, all right, uh, my acceleration is equal to normal force minus mg cosine theta, that part of gravity that is per, uh, opposite normal force all over m. Cool beans. I like the way it looks so far. But uh, I have a little bit of a thing where it turns out that acceleration is actually equal to zero. Uh, OK, so I explained this. You guys need to write that out yourself. Um, acceleration is equal to zero. One sec. Uh, so then I can kind of just go and say normal is minus mg cosine theta. Because um, if I said that this is zero, then I can multiply both sides by m. It's still zero. Uh, but that gets rid of there. And I can just say that n is equal to mg cosine theta. And there you go. That's what it looks like. That's how it comes together. Uh, now I have an equation that relates normal force and the angle. And the only things that I'm using is uh, m, uh, theta, and g, which is a, um, a physical constant. So hope that helped if you were stuck on it. Um, done. Just waiting for the video to let me stop it. This is awkward. Stop looking at me.